We are going to test Maelstrom vs Reap and see which ability has the best burst potential. If you're playing with a great axe, the question will sometimes pop up if Reap is better than Maelstrom or Maelstrom better than Reap. In this test, we will settle that debate. Let's go and look at which ability has the best burst combo. The burst combo that I'm going to use is going to be Gravewell, one heavy attack, then Maelstrom or Reap, and I will follow up with a charge. This is usually the combo used to maximize your damage and is the best burst combo currently on the Great Axe. This is the skill tree page I'm going to use for this test. Just take note there's no other passive abilities included in this test, but it shouldn't change the result since you will always take more or less the same passive abilities for every build. May that be with Maelstrom or Reap. Also going to use the faction Great Axe with 17 strength. I won't use any jewelry or armor just to keep the results consistent. As you just saw, the Maelstrom burst combo did more damage than the Reap combo. The Maelstrom combo did about 18.9% more damage than the Reap combo. Before I move on to the pros and cons of each ability, help me keep this channel alive by liking this video and subscribing. If we compare the Maelstrom ability with the Reap ability, both abilities basically have the same execution time. Execution time meaning how long the ability takes to activate and actually do damage. So Reap had a 1.21 second execution time and Maelstrom had a 1.11 second execution time. They are basically the same. This can be chucked up to user error or just my frame rate adjusting a little bit. So the execution time isn't that much of a big difference. So I would say they're basically the same, don't stress about it. And of course the Maelstrom ability did more damage than the Reap ability and it was a 18.9% difference where Maelstrom was the victor and did more damage. Also you have to take note that Reap has a 2 second less cooldown than Maelstrom. This shouldn't be a big deal breaker but you have to take note of it. You also have to take into account that Maelstrom has a better perk ability called Inflibing Maelstrom where you basically weaken your enemies meaning that enemies will do less damage when Inflibing Maelstrom is applied to them. So this is a big plus for Maelstrom. I would also say that Reap is better for chasing people down and engaging into a fight and Maelstrom is more of a in the fight playstyle combo ability where you actually have to be in the thick of it to use Maelstrom. But Maelstrom also blocks projectiles and abilities that's being thrown at you so you can use it defensively as well. I would say in this case Maelstrom is the victor here since it has a better perk ability and it does way more damage and the execution time of the ability is basically the same as Reap. But you have to take into account your own playstyle. If you play better with Reap, go with Reap. If you're a real madman, you can also switch out charge for Reap. So you're going to use Reap, Maelstrom and Gravity Well. Try it out, you might like it. If you've liked this video, consider subscribing. I post new New World videos every week.